build a wall in our walk with God, honey. Oh, you, you look good to me, but I can't go with you anymore. You get me in too much trouble. I get in a fight when I'm hanging around with you guys, look at you, and I tell them I can't do that no more, honey. So I'm building a wall. <laughs> she looked at me, Pastor, you better go be a wife. <laughs> <laughs> and so we built the wall to make a separation. When we got around our old friends, we said to our old friends, I don't do that anymore. I don't go there anymore. I don't talk like that anymore. I don't drink that. What, what we're doing, we built the wall. But honey, somewhere down the line, over the process of time, we have allowed our wall to come down. The song said, Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. And Humpty Dumpty had a big wall. Sitting on the wall won't get you no protection, honey. You got to get behind the wall. Mm. Sitting on top of the wall don't keep the devil from shooting at you. Humpty got hit and blew, blew, blew. Fell on off the wall. You see, if Humpty was not sitting on the wall, he got behind the wall, he wouldn't have fell off the wall. Amen. Too many of us are straddling the wall. Instead of getting behind the wall, we're walking on top of the wall. <laughs> Instead of us getting behind what we believe, we're saying, well, maybe I don't have to. Maybe it don't matter that much, honey. But we have a lot of broken walls in our life. We made commitments that I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to go there. Yet we still find ourselves doing the same thing we did last year. Still going to the same places we went last year. Still talking to the same folks we did that got us in trouble last year. Honey, there is a wall that needs to be built. And it's time for the church to rebuild its walls. Too many churches are giving in to this world to compromise what they believe. Too many churches are saying, it don't matter, we're all the same. No, we're not, honey. We're coming out from among them and being sacred, says the Lord. And we're not going to mess with the junk from the past. we got to be different. Yes. we got to build the wall. <clears throat> we got to build the wall. Not only do we got to keep junk out, I'm trying to keep stuff in. I'm trying to keep myself in check with God. Yes. I'm trying to keep myself under the protection of the wall. I'm trying to keep myself from those things that I know are bad for me. Yes. So I've got to stay behind the wall. What is that wall? The wall is the protection of my Lord and my Savior. Because I've been out from behind the wall. Been out and got beat up. Been out and got hurt. Then out and have problems, then I knock back on the door of the wall saying, can I get in? <laughs> yes, the devil will attack you on your wall. He'll knock on the door and say, little pig, little pig, let me in. And you better say, not by the hair of my chin to chin chin. Well, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your wall in. And you say, well, you can huff and you can puff, but I'm built on a solid rock. Amen. You see, I'm not just on a secret sand, but I'm built on the solid rock. Y'all know I got everything. <laughs> Time for folks to start building the wall, Nyrick. I know your leg hurt. <laughs> But it's time for folks to get together, come on Eugene, and build the wall for the Lord. Sometimes we gotta find somebody to hold up some studs. We gotta find somebody, tell them to grab a hammer. Now you're gonna sit there, you're gonna grab this hammer, I'm gonna throw it at one of you. <laughs> oh, we got somebody that if you don't move quick enough, they're willing to take your place. We've got folks that are saying, I've been on the other side of the wall too long, and I've been building for the devil, but now I better give it up and come and build for the house of my God. Yes. It's time for us to rebuild our walls. And you see, you've got to do more than just have a hammer with you, honey. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
the mistakes of yesterday be your mistakes of today. Don't let the mistakes of yesterday be your future. Don't let the devil remind you about what you did. You turn to the Lord and you ask God for the strength that you need. And God will, God can and he will. Herein, Nehemiah began to pray, Lord, it is because of what we did that the walls got torn down to begin with. It's because of where we went, the things we did. But God, we ask that you would hear the cry. For you said that if the people which are called by your name would humble themselves and pray and seek your face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal them. If my people, if you need some walls rebuilt, honey, then you need to get on on your feet. If you got some broken down walls, then you need to get on on your feet. I'm going to say that one more time. If you got some broken walls in your life, then you need to get on your feet and you need to get to work. You need to go down and get you some spiritual cement. You need to get you some spiritual pasta. You need to get you some penny nails. You need to get you some two inch nails. You need to get you some two by fours, some two by sixes, and some two by twelve. You need to get you some rod eye, and you better get a plan. All right. A lot of us build you something when we ain't got a plan. Amen. Amen. I think this door goes over here. Uh, all your head are not in right and stuff not built right because you didn't have a plan. But in order to get the plan, honey, you got to get the planning book. All right, all right. Yes. 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 This book will tell you how to build a wall. This book will tell you how to build a wall. Yes, yes, yes. This book will tell you how to get out of sin. Yes, this book yes. will tell you how to live right. All right this all right. book. This book is our master blueprint. Yes. And if we get into this book, it'll teach us how to build a wall. Yes. You say, yes. but I never yes. built a wall before. It don't matter because the master carpenter is on the job. Yes. So if your life has been broken, if your life is in shambles, if your wall has been torn down, I'm here to say we got a wall rebuilder. Yes. We got somebody who can rebuild, renew, and restore your brokenness. As I said earlier, Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall, and Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. And all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. But Humpty didn't know about Jesus because he fixed the broken pieces in our lives. God fixed broken pieces. God can restore what you lost. As Lazarus laid in the grave, he said, roll away the stone. And the sister said, Lord, by now he's he said, didn't I say if you just believe? And he said, Lord, Father God, I thank you that you always hear. But for those that are around in my plan, and he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. It doesn't matter how long your situation has been dead. It doesn't matter how long your walls have been broken down. We serve a God that's in the building business to me. Yeah. He can renew you. He can rebuild you. And he can restore you. Amen. God can fix the broken pieces of your life. I need my wall rebuilt, Lord. Just as Nehemiah cried, a lot of us are crying at the condition of the church today. The church has become such a place of entertainment. Mm -hmm. Programming this and a program for that. We sound like we're at the club now at the churches. They got praise dances that are orchestrated. Not for God's glory, but for show. When Miriam danced, she just got the thing and said, this is for God. But now people do praise dances for show. I'm saying we don't have to dance, but we do need to shout now. 